Frida Kahlo, the movie. She was born in Coyoacán, outside of Mexico City, in 1907, in a house built by her father, a German Jew, and her mother, a mestiza. She had three sisters, with her they were four. Christina was her favorite sister, she was like her best friend, but also after a while she became her greatest rival. When Frida was six years old, she had a severe pain in her leg. The doctor said it was polio. Because of this, Frida spent nine months at home, and her foot was deformed. This was her first confinement, but she found a way to go through it. In 1922, Frida became one of the first female high school students, and at the age of 15, she was the best student, learning three languages, and also she dreamed to be a doctor. Frida yeah, was very lucky to have the cultural stimulus like her classmates, poets, and also Diego Rivera. Frida was attracted to Diego, since she saw him one day at school painting with some other famous artists of the time. But in that time, her current boyfriend was Alejandro Gomez. In 1925, while Frida was traveling by bus with Alejandro, Frida's normal life came to an end. The bus collided with the truck. Frida was left in the street. An iron stick penetrated completely side to side her belly. Her spine and pelvis were broken and her right foot was dislocated and crushed. Doctors thought that she was not going to survive. They had to rebuild her back in sections. Before this accident, Frida was a girl who lived in a world of colors. But after this, her life changed. Now, her life was full of pain. Frida wasn't good. She didn't talk about anything to anyone. She felt hopeless. She was immobile. It was here where Frida begins painting. She had a mirror in front of her bed. Her main character was herself. Frida decided to take her paintings to Diego Rivera to see if she had any potential as a painter. When Diego saw them, he immediately thought that Frida and her paintings were extraordinary. They fell in love. Frida was 21 and Diego 41, but they had fun together. For Frida, Diego was the best artist in all the world, and for Diego, she was like the best diamond among several, several diamonds. They get married, but they had a lot of problems. Fidelity was very difficult for Diego. Frida lost two babies. Her life was full of complications. She had to stay in hospital with the first lost 30 days. And with the second, she was almost close to die. Frida was always painting about her, but her artworks were private. What most inspired her were the colonial paintings. There was a lot of pain and blood, and that's how her life was. Time passed. Frida and Diego moved to USA, but they returned four years later to Mexico because Diego had run out of money. When they returned, he was very skinny and pale. He didn't want to return. A short time later, Diego had a relationship with Cristina. Frida had never, never suffered so much. Cristina was her sister. After this, Frida moved to her own apartment. She cut her hair very short and began to have a lot of lovers, generally men and sometimes women. Time passed and Frida reconciliated with her sister. 
Frida decided that she could return to Diego's house and have relationship without commitment. It was a large house with two parts, one side blue and the other side was pink. Frida's artworks were surreal, but she said that she did not paint surrealism. She was never painting her dreams. Her artworks were her own reality. That time, Frida was received as a celebrity. She used large jewelries out of ordinary, such as necklace, ring, and big earrings. This for minimize her weakness of her body. At her 32 years, she finally divorced of Diego, but she cut her hair and began to drink. And she painted the two Fridas, demonstrating the love for Diego. Frida's health deteriorated rapidly, returning to bed. She felt that she was going to die. She felt very weak. Two months later, her leg was amputated. Diego knew that this was the end. She was close to die. Her last painting were watermelons eight days before she died. Frida signed it with her name, date and place. Coyoacán, Mexico. And she wrote, Viva la vida. She died at the age of 47 in her bed. Frida's friends adorned her with flowers on her hair, her earrings, rings, and necklaces. Diego aged in a few hours. He was devastated. He only lived for three more years, and he admitted he understood the power of her love, but after she 